Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Let's look at example three. I'm solving negative seven equals negative two plus m. The goal is to get this variable m by itself. So I'm gonna look at the term next to the m, which is a negative two, and I'm gonna take the opposite of negative two, which is a plus two, because those will cancel out then. So I'm gonna add two to both sides of the equal sign. So I'm on this side, and then I need to come over to the other side and also add two. These will then cancel. I'm going to go ahead and do my addition. Negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. Bring down the equal sign and then just bring down the m. So m equals negative 5. Come over to example 4. We're going to do the same thing. I want to get f by itself. So I'm going to look at the term next to it, which is a negative 1 third. So I'm going to do the opposite, which is a positive, And we're going to add 1 third to both sides. And now these have a common denominator, 2 thirds and 1 third. So we can add in our head, or you can use your calculator. So let's start over here. Let's bring down the f. The negative one-third and positive one-third cancel. Bring down the equal sign. Two-thirds plus one-third is three over three, which is just one. If you have two-thirds of a cup and one-third of a cup, and you add those together, you just have one whole cup. So f is one. Okay, example five says translate into an equation and then solve. So this combines um, some of that translation we did last time. Sum means add of a number and three. So for that number, let's use x. So sum add x plus three is the same as means equals 17. So that's our equation, and now we want to solve for x. So we're going to look at the term next to x, which is a positive three, and let's subtract three from both sides. These cancel, bring down the x, bring down the equal sign. 17 minus 3 is 14, so x is 14. Example 6 is an example of a problem that I really like. It's, it says, describe the error. And sometimes it might be hard when you're looking at the problem to figure out what the error is. So a lot of times I recommend my students come off to the side over here and actually work the problem out first before they describe the error. So I'm just going to write the problem out which is x plus 15 equals 8. And I'm going to go ahead and solve it. I'm going to ignore the left side. I want to get x by itself, so I have a plus 15 next to it. Opposite of a positive 15 is a negative 15, so I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. These will cancel. Bring down the x equals 8 minus 15 is negative 7. Now that I've done that, I can come over here and look and see where the error is, and it's right here. Uh, they just wrote it differently, but instead of subtracting 15 from both sides, they added 15 from both sides. So right here is the error. And it says describe the error, which means you have to describe it and say um, they added 15 instead of subtracting. Because what would have gone wrong here is if you added 15, 15 plus 15 is 30 right here. That wouldn't have gone away. So you wouldn't have had your variable by itself. 